Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can go from 3ds Max to Mudbox and then back to 3ds Max. So you have got a very simple mesh that we're going to use for this tutorial. So before we can export this object to Mudbox we need to create some UVs or uh, UV coordinates for this object. So I found a really easy way that you can do um, that works almost with every mesh and uh, very simply just select your object go to your modify panel and then click on this drop down and go all the way down and then you're going to click on unwrap UVW. Okay and then on that selected you're going to click on this polygon and then you're going to click on open UV editor. And all you need to do here is just press Control A on your keyboard to select everything. Go to Mapping, Flatten Mapping and then click on OK. So that will basically just flatten all the UVs for you and then you can go ahead and close this window and then we are ready to export our mesh. So just click on the Create button again here on the side so we can select our mesh and uh, then with our mesh selected we're going to go to this drop down and we're going to go to Export, Export Selected and uh, then I usually just select OBJ and go to the folder where you want to export it and then we're going to give it a name I'm just going to call it mesh and then we're going to click on save and on this window just make sure that your preset is set to mudbox and then click on export okay once that's done click on the done button and then we're going to jump into mudbox so this is mudbox 2016 but it should work with almost every version of mudbox and we're going to click on open to open that mesh that we saved from 3ds max okay and we're going to select our mesh and click on open and it might give you this error message or say that it detected some problems um, on that mesh and usually this is fine I usually just go ahead and click on keep all and that's going to import your mesh into mudbox so you can see that it detected a few uh, errors here those little red dots but it's only two so we should be fine and usually I just switch this off so if you go to display here at the top and you click on mesh errors those dots will uh, it will just be hidden it's still there but it's just hidden from our view okay so now we're ready to start painting and in this tutorial I'm just going to go through painting and not really sculpting so make sure that you're on your paint tools um, menu at the bottom and click on paint brush and then you can set a color so let's just do like a green click on done and you can obviously set the size of your brush here and uh, then you can basically just click once and it's going to ask you to create a new paint layer and I'm just going to leave it paint layer and then you can also set the size of that texture. So I'm going to go with 4096, click on OK and then you can basically start painting. So I'm just going to quickly just paint this green and just make sure that we get everything. Okay, something like that. And um, let's say we want to add a bit of a texture to this. So I'm going to go to my stencil tab here at the bottom and then I'm just going to select something, maybe something... Maybe something like this should be fine for this tutorial. And then we're going to click on my paintbrush again and I'm going to select a different color. Maybe like a dark gray. Click on done. And then we're just going to paint over that to just get a quick texture going here. Okay, so once you're happy with your texture, I'm just going to switch off the stencil. And then we are ready to export our texture. So really simple. What you do is you're on the side where you've got your layers. I'm just going to right click on the diffuse. And then I'm going to go to export channel merged. And then you browse to your folder where you want to export it to. And usually I just export it as a PNG and I'm going to give it a name, just texture. Click on save. And that's basically just going to save that texture to a PNG file. Okay, so back in 3ds Max, I'm just going to set my renderer to V-Ray. You obviously don't have to do this if you don't use V-Ray. And uh, then I'm going to open the material editor. Okay, and then you're going to create your material and because I'm using V-Ray I need to create a V-Ray material but you can obviously just create a normal standard material as well and then I'm just going to add a diffuse map to this material and I'm just going to choose normal bitmap and then I'm just going to browse to that folder quickly and then I'm going to choose my texture PNG and click on open and then basically we're just going to apply this material to our mesh and then what we can do is also we can show this material in our viewport so we can see that it's been applied and uh, let's just add a quick light so we can do a very quick render and see how it looks like okay another thing that we can do is we can add a turbo smooth to our mesh just to make it a bit smoother so with the mesh selected i'm just going to go to the drop down again go all the way down to turbo smooth and then one should be fine for that and let's do a quick render 
Cool, so basically that's how easy it is to add some cool textures using Mudbox. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything specific on my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you like this tutorial. And also click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials. Cool, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.